This is Dave Helling with the Kansas City Star with a video analysis of the second Republican presidential debate which took place at the Ronald Reagan Library in California on uh, Wednesday. Uh, the debate, as we all expected, would focus uh, at least at the first on Donald Trump. Trump leads in most of the polls and it was very clear that some of the candidates who are trailing a bit decided to make tr uh, Donald Trump an issue uh, in the campaign. Several of them attacked his uh, experience. Uh, some of the things that he said in the debate tonight. And I think some of that landed a little bit. Scott Walker did a pretty good job. Carly Fiorina, who had a very good debate, also uh, took on Donald Trump, as did Jeb Bush. There was a lot of pushing and shoving between the two of them. Uh, Bush probably did a little less uh, effective criticism of, of Donald Trump. But nevertheless, it was clear that Trump was the target for the first part of the debate. After a while, though, it seemed to shift away from him a little bit onto very important and serious differences among the candidates for the Republican presidential nomination. Rand Paul, for example, talked a little bit about his more isolationist foreign policy. Marco Rubio was much more aggressive in that regard. I thought Chris Christie did a good job tonight, really stood out uh, from the crowd, made some important points, suggested that the debate should be not about the job experience of Fiorina or Trump, but should be a bit, uh, more about the, uh, the job experience of, of uh, the middle class in the United States, and I thought he scored some points with that. Scott Walker sort of vanished a little bit. Ted Cruz gave too many speeches. I thought Mark, uh, Mike Huckabee tried his best, had some passion, but you don't get the sense that he's really catching fire. Uh, ben Carson, who is leading in a lot of polls, seemed uh, polite and reserved, a little bit uh, shy on details, perhaps, of some federal policies. Uh, you know, he called tax, the progressive tax system, socialism. That will help him with some parts of the Republican base, but would not be a, a winning issue, one believes, in a general election. So um, uh, those statements might come back to haunt him if he were the nominee. Nevertheless, I think it was kind of a status quo debate. I do think Trump faded a little bit in, in this exchange. He's, you get the sense that he's going to, at some point anyway, have to be a little bit more specific about what his ideas are for the country rather than sort of general statements. At one point he said, I'll take care of women. We don't know what that means. It seemed a little condescending uh, and a little vague. And both of those are problems for Trump and may be problems as voters continue to consider their choices in the Republican side of the presidential race. That's my analysis. For more, go to KansasCity.com, and we'll have more on the buzz coming up, too. Dave Helling for the Kansas City Star.